happy, happy, happy Tuesday. Hopefully everyone's having an awesome day so far. Man, it's almost July 4th, which is incredibly awesome. Which means there's going to be a three-day weekend in my future. Now the question is, am I going to do a video on July 4th? Probably not. But I said that the same thing about uh, Juneteenth and I end up making a video. So we'll see. But let's get in, into the meat of potatoes. Real into the meat of the potatoes. Now I gotta play this video so you have some context. It's about 26 seconds long. So without further ado. Let's see. And so the question is, what are we going to do? And some people are like, we're going to do this. No, we need to do that. No, we need to do this. Let's call it this. Let's call it that. What color are you wearing? I don't give a shit about any of those things, y'all. Do everything. Whatever you want to do, whatever is calling to you in this moment, however this might speak to you, do that. If you want to take to the streets and shut down business as usual, do that. As you can see, she wants to shut down business as usual. Shut down the streets, make all those people unemployed because boo-hoo, I cannot kill my unborn child. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, see the other tweet. So pretty much Republican National Chair Research said Texas Democrat Diana Lemon Mercado if you want to take to the street and shut down business as usual, do that. Of course, she responded, the opposition really thinks that they're dragging me right now. To those who are with us, keep making your voice heard in whatever way you can. Join a rally, make donations, register votes. I'm not going to vote for this, this person. Then, of course... Key notes from the comment section. One, a lot of folks outing themselves are January 6th. Two, they're also acting like they don't know what the phrase business as usual exists. Let's go ahead and take a look at this unchanging state of affairs despite difficulty of disturbance, disturbances. Which means you can just shut down the drag or whatnot. Now, of course, we're going to go back to... Um, this one right here, because this is another person that is running for uh, council. Now, she's running for county clerk. I'm not sure what the county clerk does. Might have to do some research into that. If you want to take it to the streets, shut down business as usual. Do that. You should step down from running from county clerk. This is not who we need, need or want in public office. This is the progressive way. Shut down, destroy business. Ruining people's livelihoods. And then, of course, we have the uh, my my favorite one of my favorite people for local events, Johnny K. Two thousand. The local media and Texas Democrats should ask her to step aside. She's poisoning any future elections that she oversees. She's lost the trust of the community. And of course, uh. Clinton rarely responded, I 100% agree. This is what the future of the Democratic Party looks like. I want zero association with it. I want to watch it slowly eat itself until it blows, disappearing from existence while I watch people wake up and walk away. I don't think this is having the effect that you think it's having. So I have to ask, this is what I responded to this tweet. Even though this is more of a play-by-play -play of what Twitter, you can definitely read this. I have to ask, did she really do any damage to herself? When the media wants, won't call out the BS, it gives people like this free reign to do whatever they want. I personally don't see her losing trust of the community due to the media not covering for, him, for her. I really do like Rarely, uh, Clinton Rarely. At least he's engaging. And that's what I want from, from my elected officials, is people to engage. Of course, this would be a great step stopping media companies from promoting this violent rhetoric 
by suing them for being complicit. Just because you air something as news doesn't give you a free pass from liability for broadcasting a hateful message without condemning it. I kind of don't agree with this, but I know where he's coming from. The easy fix would not to be report what she said. We need the media to call elected people out on their BS and not cover for them. They can report that she wants people to peacefully protest, even though that's not what she said. I do see this moving forward. If uh, Clarence Thomas gets their way and we could sue the media, they could do what they're doing with Biden. And of course, this is why, why we call it fake news. They prop up violent progressive as peaceful protests and everyone else are white supremacists, fascists. It's pathetic. The American people see right through it and the media wonder why their ratings are so low. I do agree, kind of agree with that point. But the issue is there's a lot of people that see fake news and they run with it. They don't verify it. They don't vet it. And they deem it as true. And the next thing you know, a person is suing all the major news companies because an Indian guy went up to him banging a drum and he's labeled a white supremacist. But of course, my, my response here is I don't think they really care and they flaunt it if the media would just hold everyone to the same standard. Maybe she wouldn't feel so entitled. And that's the issue I have with a lot of this media is the hypocrisy. You have this person saying, if you want to take it to the street and shut down business as usual, do that. Well, yes, you can interpret that multiple ways. But let's say that a riot happened shortly after, or there's a riot that happened in Austin because of this decision, and she pretty much greenlighted it. Would they have the same effect? Would they be going after her? Like the January 6th is going after Trump right now in the House of Representatives. So really got to ask yourself, I mean, is, why is it okay for the, the left to call for violence or highlight violence? But whenever someone on the right does it, it's an interaction that should be held accountable. Where is the accountability on both sides? And this is what's dearly lacking in our media, you got one party that says the Supreme Court be damned, we're going to not even follow your rules. You got the governors and mayors saying we don't care what the Supreme Court rule, we're going to keep people safe despite your ruling saying what we're doing is unconstitutional. We're going to continue as business as normal. But yet, when the people on the right do it, they're white supremacists, they're inciting violence. They're racist, they're nationalists, they want a, they're dictatorish, dictator, they want a supreme leader. I don't get it. But I do think that uh, Diana Lemon Mercado, I think I spelled her name wrong. I think I did spell her name wrong. And I'm not going to change it because she doesn't deserve the respect. But what I will do. What I will do is in the video. I uh, did I really did. I don't really care. I'm just gonna change it right there because she doesn't deserve the respect when she doesn't get her way. She wants uh, violence and uh, didn't even fix it. That is even awesome. I didn't even fix it. There we go. There we go. I fixed it. Anyways, leave a comment down below. Do you do you see hypocrisy? Or am I looking too much into it? I really want to know if it's just me that's seeing this hypocrisy. Because I really want a standard to be set for both sides to follow. Not just the means justify the mean uh, the means justify the ends type approach. Anyways, leave a comment down below what your thoughts are. Smash the like and subscribe button on any and all platforms, just the platform that you're currently watching. But most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.